How would you describe the U.S. economy right now? The U.S. economy is uh, is the strongest of a, of a slowing global economy, uh, so it's uh, it's not in a bad place. But the direction of travel is the wrong way. Um, Brian, we have a great viewer question, so please continue sending those viewer questions in. You can just go on to IBTV. And this person, Brian, is writing in and says, what could be the assumptions of a turn in the rates markets, and what is the probability of this? Uh, listen, the rates markets will continue to be a function of how much we think the central bank will ease and how much they need to ease. In other words, if the Fed can get ahead of the curve, if, 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 they, if they agree that inflation is too low and that growth is falling uh, enough that they should ease, uh, say, 50 in the next meeting or, or 25 the next two, uh, and you see the yield curve re-steepening, that's a positive sign. Uh, I think the idea that, that the curve is flat and everyone's grabbing for duration just shows you uh, that really the only thing that matters is this uncertainty, the, the fear that all of this is driving global growth lower could continue to drive interest rates to levels that surprise people. But what happens if we have a resolution with the U.S.-China dispute? I know it would probably be a miracle, but let, let's say that, you know, come September, they talk, they agree, they sign, let's move on. What does that mean for interest rates? I, I mean, they go up, right, and, and the curve probably steepens, uh, depending on if the central bank is eased, if Fed is eased a lot. Uh, it's just uncertainty. If we don't know what the global rules of trade are going to be, then businesses will not invest, uh, especially the global multinational businesses. So, yes, it, it doesn't really matter which way things get resolved so long as we have certainty around uh, what the tariff policy will be and, and that the noise uh, uh, dis, uh, dissipates. Um, Tom started the show talking about a canary in the coal mine. He was talking about Argentina. But, Brian, do you have a canary in the coal mine? I don't know whether it's a China indicator, whether it's something that you're looking with, you know, business investment, chief executive spending, or actually, you know, some of the more, um, I guess, traditional data points in the U.S. economy. I, I think, I, I think some, about some more traditional data points. The, the U.S. consumer has held up fairly well, uh, obviously a big driver of, of U.S. growth, and the U.S. being a big driver of global growth right now. So we would watch domestic markets. It would be nice to see. Uh, wage inflation pick back up um, and, and, and consumer confidence stay high. I think that is something that if it cracks um, will, will just exacerbate an already difficult situation.